everyone welcome back to my channel it's sabrina so today i'll be showing you guys how i color my hair this midnight blue black color i absolutely love this color i've been doing it for about a year so to do this color you'll be needing some mixing bowls and a applicator brush i did get these from sally's as well as the color so i'm using two different colors which was by mistake but this is the ion color brilliant in midnight blue black and then their brilliant ultra gloss in blue black i meant to get the same thing but i just completely forgot <laughs> I'll also be using the Ion 20 Volume Developer and this is the Sensitive Scalp Formula because I'll be applying it for myself. So we're just going to go ahead and start mixing. So I'm just going to go ahead and basically divide the color in two. Since I got two different ones, I'm going to be mixing them and I want to mix them evenly. So I'm going to squeeze half out into one bowl and then the other half into the other bowl and I'm going to do the same thing with the other mixture as well. So once that's done, you're going to go ahead and put in your developer and I made basically about um, three to four ounces of these and then in the right one I put a little bit more color so I had to end up adding more developer as time went on but basically you're just going to mix that up and you want to mix it into a creamy consistency not too thick and not too watery. I am not a professional, I'm just showing you guys what I do. This is actually my first time using the Ion Color Brilliance. This is the consistency that I mix it up to. I typically do use box dyes, but I wanted to see if the color would be more vibrant with one of these color applicators and a box dye, but honestly, I feel like I got the same result either way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and section my hair up into four sections. I did have a U-part wig on and I took that out, so that's why my leave out is straight and the rest of my hair is like crinkly from my braids. So first of all, you want to go ahead and put on some gloves because you're dealing with chemicals and you don't want to irritate your skin or anything like that. But either way, I still end up getting all over myself. So I'm going to use some grapeseed oil and I'm going to put it around the perimeter of my hair, around my ears, um, on the back of my neck, basically anywhere that dye could possibly get on. Again, this is, it's chemical you guys and it's permanent color at that. So you just want to make sure you're protecting your skin. I'm just going to apply the color with my hands. I really only use the applicator brush to kind of mix my dye. I just, it's easier to do it with my hands. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna make sure I really get into my roots because I haven't dyed my hair in months. So my roots are really brown versus the ends of my hair is still kind of dark from the last time I dyed my hair. So all I'm doing is making sure I'm covering all my roots with the color and then I work it down to the ends of my hair to refresh the color down there as well and I lightly um, detangle my hair as well with this product it's actually made it pretty easy to detangle my hair believe it or not and really that's all I'm going to do I'm just going to keep doing the same thing um, throughout all of my hair Once I'm done applying it, this is what it's looking like. You can clearly see the blue tint in the dye. And I'm going to go ahead and color my hair with this plastic bag. And I did put a second one on to make sure I was really trapping in the heat everywhere. So I'm going to be using the Aussie Mega Moist Shampoo to shampoo my hair out. I did shampoo twice. And also I'll be using the Dove Daily Conditioning Conditioner. I forgot what it's called. But yeah, and I did a conditioner rinse with that. And after that, I did go ahead and deep condition with my ultra favorite Shea Moisture Intensive um, Manuka and Mafrio Oil Deep Conditioner. 
So these are the results that I got from my dye and you can see right here the blue color is really showing up because you're right under the light. But right here in a second you'll be able to see that depending on what kind of light you're in your hair will just look black sometimes. So this is the effect of having blue black hair. On normal lights it will just look black and then under the right kind of light or if it's extremely bright you'll see the blue tints. And I really love that. I wanted more of the blue to just always kind of show but I'm okay with you know it's showing when it shows so I wanted to show you guys what it also looks like outside as well so again certain angles your hair will just look like the typical black and then I will show you like looking down on my hair um, you'll see the blue tint start to show through right here you see where it kind of hits blue so depending on the light that's how you'll see the hair but thumbs up if this video was helpful if you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next video bye loves uh, me never had a girl quite like me. Uh, me never had a girl quite like me. Uh.